What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here and today guys I want to go over a what's on my iPad my jailbroken iPad of course uh, today I want to go over all the themes I like, the tweaks, the things I install on Cydia I gathered about six of my favorites as I have written down here I'm just going to list them in no specific order uh, but I will tell you my favorite one at the end uh, but we're going to start off with RetinaPad now I got all of these except for one which was fresh, that's one of them. I got all of these tweaks and whatever's from iHacks Repo, that source. Now, iHacks Repo is a free source. It gets you all the free stuff, but guys, I suggest you support the developers. All the paid programs I did get through, I actually did pay for one or two, but the others I used iHacks Repo because it's important, guys, to support the developers so we can continue to have great tweaks like this. This is just a one-time deal for me, and from now on, I'm going to continue to by my tweaks. Anyways, now Retina Pad, what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of those uh, ugly graphics on your iPad from iPhone apps and put them in full Retina quality. Let me simulate that there. So as you can see, the quality is definitely much, much better. This is Angry Birds for the iPhone. You can see the quality is definitely improved. So you can see that the graphics aren't that bad. And I just use my Muddy Eagle. Now most people decide to use full for force with the Retina Pad Tweak, but guys, I've used both of them together, and for some reason it doesn't work for me. Like, for example, I've done that with cut the rope and it went completely like into an iPhone version. I took off full force because of that reason. So now if we look at cut the rope, you could see the quality is definitely much better uh, with the iPhone edition on the iPad. You could see it's definitely improved from a pixely type of image previously. Alright guys, next up is the Impulse theme, and that's what I have selected on my iPad now. That's free in Winterboard, I think. Well, it's free in Cydia, rather, but it's a Winterboard tweak. Again, it, I got most of this stuff from iHacks Repo, so that's all I'm going to say. Anyways, um, what that is, is if we go here into Winterboard, uh, you can see here that we have the Impulse for iPad. It's iPod Skin, Impulse for iPad Springboard, lock screen, icon shadows, and dock. So basically, Impulse takes your iPad to the next level. You could see my icons are all customized out. There's a nice shadow behind them. That's kind of hard to see, but there is a shadow. There's a new dock at the bottom. The folders, everything is just a shadow, and it looks really nice. Uh, some of the icons have been customized to look a little bit better, but not all of them. Uh, there's also a custom iPod skin. As you can see, it's like a chromish type of color. And if I go ahead and tap a song, you can see that it's a nice chrome color. Uh, let me see the other tweaks we've got here. Uh, where is it? So, and uh, also there's a really nice lock screen to it as well. Uh, the time bar, like it's just like transparent, and then the slider is really nice too. So that is impulse for iPad theme. Next up is Lock Info, and Lock Info you just saw is basically um, kind of like Notification Center on iOS 5, but in this case my iPad 2 is on iOS 4.3.3, and as you can see here I have my calendar, my favorites, my mail, my notifications, and my Twitter all sitting here waiting for me to use them. So let's say somebody replies to a tweet on me on Twitter, I can read it from there. If somebody sends me an email, you know, this is good for push notifications if you have them set to not manual. Now, of course, it does drain your battery a little bit, but I seem to like it because then lock screen notifications work as well. And also, when you install lock screen, I'm um, sorry, lock info, you also, if you don't already have it, you get activators. So from anywhere on the home screen, you could just pop your notification uh, lock info screen anywhere. So, guys, it's much like notification center. That's coming in iOS 5, but since we don't have it yet for the public, that's what it is. I've used Notification Center on my iPod Touch 4G, which does have iOS 5, and it's it's kind of similar, not much, you know, but it's it's kind of got the same type of 
things. So that is lock info. Up next, guys, is Wii sounds. If you've noticed every time I lock and unlock my iPad, there's uh, the Nintendo Wii sounds. This also goes for SMS, although it doesn't apply to my iPad. Uh, mail, anything else you could think of uh, that has sounds. They're all customized. That's also available in Cydia under the iHex repo source. I like the sounds personally, that rather than the lock sounds, if I had to choose between any sounds, definitely the Wii ones. And I dedicate that one to Koi2281 with his original tunnel wallpaper theme. He built the whole thing with glass card, I, glass card icons and Wii sounds and tons of customizable stuff, and I fell in love with the Wii sounds. So ever since then, on my jailbroken device, I've had them. Up oh, next, guys, brings me to one of my favorites. Now, if you don't have iOS 5 again on your iPad 2 and you're not a developer, like you haven't set up your iPad for development with Xcode, then you do not have multitasking gestures. Mine isn't set up for development, nor is it running iOS 5, but it seems like... I have multitasking gestures. Now, this is a theme available in City Guys, and right here I will show you. If you just download MT Gestures, you get it. You get all the options. iPad 2, iPad, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iTouch 3, iTouch 4, and you can do gestures on all of those devices. Once it's done, just your spring, go to your settings, go to general, and you automatically have the setting. Make sure you choose the right device, guys, and this only works on iOS 4.3.3. Speaking of which, before we go on, I, Apple guys just released iOS 4.3.4 today. Don't update because you will lose your jailbreak unless you don't have a jailbreak and you don't want a jailbreak either. So just stay away from that, guys, if you want to keep your jailbreak. Just letting you know. Okay, and last but not least, this is probably one of my favorite, not one of my favorites, I'll tell you my favorite at the end. This one is called Fresh. Now this is the only one I didn't get from the iHack Street Bus source. Uh, the source I got it from was this source. Repo.bnm.at. Let me get a close up here. Yeah, I, I can't. My tripod's in the way. Uh. It's the top one. You guys get the picture, but that's where I got it from. Again, the source is... Ah, jeez. I can't edit this out either. BNM.AT. That's the source. Now, Fresh is basically Flash on the iPad, the iPhone, the iPod Touch. So, for example, let's say I go into Safari. I want to watch a YouTube video, but I don't want to use YouTube Mobile. I want to use the regular YouTube site. Well, this fixes it. From here, I can watch my new review video that I uploaded today. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike here, and today, guys, I want to do a review. And this is directly from the YouTube site, not the mobile site, but the YouTube site. If I go to another one of my videos, it loads fine. Go ahead and play it, if it's going to load. Buffering, okay and we'll maximize it here, you can see that it runs perfectly. Now, to be honest with you guys, it's not the best quality, uh, it doesn't have the best sound quality, although I did upload all these videos in 720p. Fresh doesn't offer the best quality, so like, for example, if I go into YouTube, I want to do a review on the X -Key. You can definitely tell from the x -Key review video that the quality is improved in the actual YouTube app for the iPad. So, that's fresh. Uh, it doesn't allow games or anything, like uh, my brother tried Club Penguin on the iPad, and that didn't seem to work at all. And um, last but not, uh, that's it for the tweaks, guys. I think out of all these, my favorite is multitasking, multi-touch, whatever you want to call it, gestures. And you're probably saying, what? That's not good. I love multitasking gestures. I think it's the easiest way to navigate through your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. I absolutely love them. Uh, with these multitasking gestures, I think, especially on the iPad, Apple can eliminate the home button because now that you could do this, there really is no longer a need. And by the way, uh, multitasking gestures, you could use four or five fingers to swipe through apps, pinch to the home screen, or raise the multitasking bar. 
Alright guys, so that is my What's On My iPad 2 jailbreak video. If you liked it, please comment below. Rate if you wish for more What's On My iPad jailbreak videos like this. And please subscribe. There's a button up top. Don't ask me where I got the iPad background because I have no clue. See you in the next video. Peace.